Okay, so this is a beginner's video on how to use LaTable. For those of you who don't know what LaTable is, it's a free software which can be used to create LaTeX tables in a very simple manner, uh, which you know can be quite tedious at times. So this comes in handy during those situations. So it's a free software and uh, I've given a link below this video and uh, you can click on that to download LaTable. Once you've downloaded that, you will get a zip file and uh, unzipping that will give you a folder in which you will find uh, an executable file. Uh, double click that, um, you will get the LaTable window. So from here on what you can do is you can start entering the table right here or you can copy paste an existing table in Excel or some such equivalent spreadsheet um, software. Okay, so um, I will use Excel and uh, as you can see I have created a table here and what I need to do is I have to copy this and click on this and paste it. Make sure you use the paste in the edit. Uh, a simple control V will not um, uh, help. So once you've done that you will get a code here you can um, copy this code and you can place it in your latex document so let's create a latex document new document class section I'll name it as table from la table and uh, all I need to do is paste the code here okay so once I compile this I need to save this there you go there's your table here and if you want lines in between what you can do is you can select the whole table and use this icon it will generate a new code copy and paste it here once you compile that there you go you have lines in between Okay, so let's include a graph. Insert bar graph. That'll do. I'll change the color to something more decent. Okay. I'll copy this and I will paste it in paint. I'll save it as a PNG file. And I'll include it in my LaTeX document. Okay, you will need a new package for that. Use package graphic X. Once I've use that I will start a new section graph begin figure end figure and I will include graphics the name of the file was graph and it's in the same folder so you don't need to worry about the location okay okay so I will scale this down by adding an optional argument I will set the width as 
text width and I will use another optional argument here so what this basically does H stands for here B stands for bottom and P stands for a special full float page and what this argument is asking LaTeX to do is it's asking LaTeX to place the doc uh, place the float as much as possible here if not here then bottom of this page if not there then a splash a special float page and the exclamatory mark here it is to tell LaTeX and prompt it to place the figure here and bottom or the float page even though it looks bad so that's what it does so hopefully this will place the figure just below the graph let's see yes so there we go there we have our graph and uh, this is good enough but as you can see this table appears quite cramped and uh, there's a simple code snippet that you know you can use to uncramp this table what you would need to do is renew command array stretch and 1.5 I will use 1.5 and renew command table column separation let's keep that as 0.2 centimeters okay and close it so okay yes okay so once we do that as you can see the table appears much better and it's quite readable so that's it that's how you use la table to you know import tables